this is a video that I probably should have made a while ago, but um, it's talking about MSM and basically some of the risks involved in using MSM. Uh, just because one person is using, you know, a supplement does not mean that it's going to do the same thing for you as it did for them. So, you know, there's that's with like anything that could be with milk thistle, that could be with glutathione. Um, with MSM, I've noticed just on my videos alone that the feedback from you guys trying it um, from person to person, it just, it varies greatly. Like it varies enough to where I felt the need to at least address it and say something about MSM. So um, one of the most popular comments I get from people using MSM, it's like, well, for, first off, people either hate it or they love it. Like there's no in between. You either absolutely love MSM and everything it does to you from making your hair grow crazy and strong um, to making your skin extremely soft or for people who have like um, joint pain or like achy muscles like it'll completely take away like your pain and if you like I don't know if you go hard in the gym and you're usually sore this will make you be able to do basically anything and you just I don't know you just pop, bounce right back so quickly you recover amazingly um, or people absolutely hate it and so people having headaches and we're talking intense headaches like migraine type headaches that's a popular comment that I get on some of my videos I have experienced this once and I noticed it was when I was not drinking enough water um, depending on your size how not only how much how tall you are probably how much you weigh too <laughs> um, that's gonna, you know, basically relegate how much water you need. Not everyone needs the same amount of water. So for me to say, oh, I drink this much water and it works for me, it might not be the same for you. So go ahead, do the research, figure out how much water you're supposed to be drinking. And if you've noticed that you were getting migraines with MSM, then like I said, look it up, figure out how much water you're supposed to be drinking and um, basically determine if you are actually hitting how much water you're supposed to be drinking and if you're not then try that and try MSM again if not if you feel like oh I am drinking enough water it's just I'm still getting migraines and obviously don't don't use it like it's that simple because who would want to live their life with like awful like throbbing headaches I mean migraines are no joke so I have experienced it thankfully only like once or twice um, but for the most part thankfully I get enough water and so I have not had that issue um, as much as other people have but I know a lot of people say awful headaches and this isn't worth taking if it's you know bringing down your quality of life so just don't worry about it um, well the second thing I would say to try if you have figured out that you're you're drinking enough water um, but you're still getting migraines I would say um, maybe just lower your dose um, you can still get results from using MSM with just taking a thousand to two thousand milligrams. So don't think that you need to um, mega dose it. Though uh, later in this video, I'll tell you why I'm going from before I was taking two thousand milligrams. I'm about to start mega dosing to twelve, um, and, but we'll get into that later. Um, the second uh, common complaint that I see in my videos with MSM is that some people have like heart palpitations. Uh, this is another one of those things where I just would not mess with it. If that is happening to you, um, just stop taking it. Again, I don't think it would be worth it. Um, I've noticed even on Amazon reviews, some people who bumped up their MSM, so they were taking a, a larger dose than what was recommended. They had experienced that. Um, honestly, there's like there's thousands of reviews on this brand in particular. Now, with most of the stuff that I use, um, some of the brands like it doesn't really matter what brand you're using like you know milk thistle some people you could try three different brands and get great results with those brands the only difference for some people are going to be if it has like soy added then that could throw off your hormones a bit so you might want to stop um, or it could be something like one has uh, more milligrams per pill than the other and obviously that's going to affect you because you're taking a different dosage but for the most part some of these brands you can intermix them you can switch it up and you're you're not going to see that big of a change when it comes to this this is one of the most popular brands and people who try to switch to other brands come back to this one because it does not work as well um, for me personally I like this one because the taste other brands taste and smell awful terrible this still tastes like sulfur trust me sulfur does not supposed to taste good but i can get this down much better than any other so 
some people just feel like the other brands don't work as well and um even one person left a review their doctor like they told their doctor that they had switched and for some reason they just wanted to get off msm because like it wasn't helping and i have friends who their doctors have recommended they start taking msm um for joint pain and things like that and basically the doctor's like uh go back to the brand you're using before like if that one was working like don't just stop taking it because all of a sudden because they're like oh the msm isn't working anymore and then yeah they figured out like they changed the brand like don't change the brand like go to the brand that works for you but i noticed that for a lot of people this seems to be the brand that works um but within the thousands of reviews i only really came across one that had someone said they were getting heart palpitations from it and honestly throughout all of the comments that i get maybe only one or two people have said that they got heart palpitations so it's not one of the most popular um side effects that you're going to notice well i wouldn't really say it's a side effect because it only happens to certain people um just just bad reactions so it's not common but just because it's not common does not mean it can't happen to you um like i said if that happens i would just stop because <laughs> sadly it's just not meant to be like there's some supplements i can't take because my body just hates them and does awful things so it's just one of those things you just have to get over it and not take it for the one that i had seen online the person had been taking a mega dose sorry the dog's gonna cry the entire time um another uh i guess common complaint and this is one that i have too because this happens is the detox of the skin it is so gross if you're starting msm or if you've stopped msm even if you stopped it for just like a couple days your skin will start to detox again once you get back on this it's awful um you're gonna get acne um some people they go through a full body detox which means it affects their energy their energy will be low they might even start feeling like they're kind of sick like they're coming down with a cold and then in a couple days it passes so sadly this is one of the most popular uh issues with msm i mean i experience it tons of other people have experienced it i mean sadly it just is what it is i don't know how to get around it i can't say for this one oh just drink more water because even if you are drinking water it's just it's just gonna suck and um, sometimes you just have to ride it out and sadly the acne depending on your skin type sometimes it can last for like three months not three months three weeks <laughs> but which feels like three months like it might as well just be three months like it, it just it feels like it's forever but getting to the end of it like if you can stick it out i've always found that it's worth it for me and um yeah i just i kind of just deal with it and uh it's just one of those things where just like don't stop taking it and try to go back to it just make sure that you're consistently taking it and i've been able to consistently take it for months and so just figure out maybe you need to start taking it first thing in the morning when you wake up and that'll be the easiest way even when i go out of town i put however much i need i measure it out and i put it in a little baggie or i'll put it even in a pill container and you can like take bring a scooper along and um yeah take it with me when i travel like i just, i don't mess around like i don't miss my dose <laughs> and um it's just it's really important um because the skin detox just sucks and it's just one of those things i don't know how to get around it sadly i don't have any um advice just um try to get like you know an acne mask and it'll help to put the acne mask on the spots the pimples that are popping up and it'll help to dry them out quicker um, than just leaving them alone another common thing is very vivid dreams or um, not being able to sleep at night um, i have experienced the very vivid dreams it's just it's weird i don't get it it's just it is what it is and so if you don't want to have very vivid dreams like these are the type of dreams that it almost feels like you really didn't rest that well because you are like so invested in this dream like it's the type of dream you, you wake up and it's just like holy crap what just happened <laughs> so if you don't want that to happen i would say um if you're going to take two doses of msm like some people will space it out um right now i'm just taking one big dose i don't space it out but if you are going to spread it out during the day i would not take your last dose should not be any later than like 2 p.m like you know so like around the afternoon mark and then give your body enough time to work through especially if it gives you energy um because obviously you can't just be laying awake at night for hours like you have stuff to do in the morning so don't 
don't take it i wouldn't take it definitely don't take it after five but for me i noticed that it was easier for me to just have my cut off don't take it any later than two by the time it was bedtime um, i was fine and as far as the crazy dreams it did not affect me as much one thing I will say is that over time, once you're on this for a few months, you'll notice the vivid dreams and things taper off. If it did give you a boost of energy, it's like my body got used to it and so I would be able to take it at night and not have vivid dreams and not stay up all night, but that's after months of taking it so your body will get used to it and those types of side effects will kind of calm down but um, it might take months of being on it and so when you're starting out, those are the tips that I have and um, hopefully they will help you if you if there's anything i missed um be sure to just you know share your experience with msm um i boosted myself up to one tablespoon which for this one it's like 12,000 milligrams is one tablespoon and basically it just it really um improves like your skin softness like your skin will feel like velvet right now like i'm soft but i remember last year when i was mega dosing i was like way softer like it completely uh, like almost airbrushes your skin like it just it feels amazing um and number two it makes your hair grow like a weed um but sadly it's gonna make your hair grow everywhere so if you're used to like waxing up above your lip you're gonna have to wax that if you're used to getting your eyebrows done you're gonna have to get your eyebrows done more um your nails because it does affect your nail growth you will have to have your nails nails filled in um more so um yeah if you're doing your nails at home you'll notice you're gonna have to do them quicker it just is what it is um i would go check out the reviews of this on amazon a lot of people share all of the ways that they use this and you'll get lots of ideas um there was one person they had um i think one of their toenails had got stubbed and some of it had come off and so to make her toe you know grow faster um she started taking this and she grew it back in like one month and, and before like she was like struggling like it was taking forever to grow so it's like this stuff does work in a lot of different ways obviously the more you take the more your results for sure um especially with hair um when i was mega dosing it, it was making my hair grow like a weed but i was also doing rice water um rinses in my hair like at least once a month too so between that and taking mega dosing msm